Good morning, my YouTube family and friends. I have not been on here in a while. And I really wanted to come on here and make a quick video video for you guys before I have to be to work. Um, I just wanted to touch on a lot of things because a lot of things has been going on and... Well, not necessarily, but, you know, I just wanted to touch on a couple of topics. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to talk about it before I forget about it. But... You have to be really careful of who you allow into your space. Um, and I sit I sit back and I think about things all the time. I'm always thinking and trying to figure out the reasons on why people do the things that they do and why things happen the way that they happen. Um, because I feel like, you know, there's just a lot of jealous people out there. You know what I'm saying? And be very, very careful about who you share information with. You know, who you share information to. Oh, something's in my eye. Every time I do my makeup, something get in my damn eye. Never fails. Oh, sorry about that. But you have to be careful on who you share information with and who you confide in. Um, because this one thing that I learned during my entire twenties is that this world is very that this is a dog eat dog world. This world is very competitive and vicious and people would do anything to slander your name, to make you look bad, um, to stop you from being successful at anything. Um, and I realized, you know, you have more you have more bad people out here than good people. And that's just the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? And that goes for anybody that you come across, anybody that you deal with. Um, a lot of people just don't have good intentions. You know what I'm saying? They don't have good intentions. And you just have to be very careful on who you allow into your space and stuff like that. Because even being around negativity can bring, can bring down your vibration. Um and certain things can rub off on you if you're not mentally strong or strong enough so you know just be careful out here um on who you confide in who you share your information with on who you decide to trust trust you know what i'm saying um and that could go for that go for family too especially you know with family you know what i'm saying i feel like i get more support from strangers than i do family and i'm not necessarily talking when i say family i mean like extended family members i don't mean like my mom my dad my sister because i know that they love me unconditionally but i know that when it comes down to certain family members you just have to stay away from them um because when when i went when i when i go around certain family members you know a lot of times their love was just not genuine towards me it wasn't genuine towards me and I'm a big reader of energy and body language and I could just tell that you know certain family members just didn't fuck with me like that so I just stopped going around them I stopped being around them and I don't entertain them you know what I'm saying because I know that you know they really don't they don't they don't wish me but they don't wish me well so i just don't deal with people like that and if you are dealing with people like that in your family then don't go around them you know love them from a distance just don't go around them you know what i'm saying because i feel like family members can be some of your biggest haters out there um and we all live in a world where just where everybody is just trying to be something you know what i'm saying and I don't mean that everybody's trying to be something to where we feel like we have to prove something to other people, but we all are trying to reach um, a certain point in our lives where we want to be successful in our own ways and we want to feel good about ourselves and what we're doing and we want to wake up in the morning, we want to feel good and you want to feel good about what you're doing in life, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, just stay away from energy vampires, you know what I'm saying? Because it's it can get real out here, you know what I'm saying? Um, another thing I want to touch on is that um, 
there is nothing more attractive than having your stuff together um even this even goes for men and women but especially men you know i feel like as a man you shouldn't even be trying to talk to any woman if you don't have your stuff together when i say stuff together it is the three things that i'm talking about and that is your own place i don't care it could be a house or an apartment a car and a decent paying a decent paid job if you want to be with any woman of quality you know what i'm saying i don't mean women that are promiscuous and they just sleep around and do what they do and no that's their business but if you want a quality woman you need to have your stuff together and a lot of men they're a lot of you know bms you know they're really lacking in that category you know they just don't have their stuff together because when i look at the white community and i i'm not i'm not i'm not going to make up no excuses for bms i'm t i'm not going to make up excuses to why they are the way they are why they can't find a job um why they can't be successful in their own right why they can't treat their woman right why they can't afford to get their woman certain things i'm not going to make excuses for them because you know it it's this is life you know what i'm saying this is life you know what i'm saying and when i look at the white community um a lot of white women you know they have a, a different you know self-esteem a different way that they carry themselves because they're they're men you know they they're men back themselves up on what a man is supposed to be you know what i'm saying a lot of times you know white men even if they're starting out young most of the time they're established and you don't have to be super successful to be established but most of the time they're established they have decent paying jobs they have their own car they have a, a place of their own because they know that they can't get a decent quality woman if they don't have those three things you know what i'm saying so um if any man out there especially bms you know you need to have your stuff those three things together before you try to talk to any kind of woman i don't want to hear nothing all about support and she's supposed to have my back and build me up if you approach me and you are you have your stuff together and we're together and you are providing for your family providing for your woman you're doing everything that you know you're supposed to do and you happen to fall off and you happen to you know lose your job for some stupid reason then i will back you up then i will stand beside you then i would you know help build you back up but you have to come you have to prove your yourself to me first you know what i'm saying it is not a woman's responsibility to build up a man it's not and a lot of women they try to do that they try to build their man up and when they do that their man end up leaving them for a younger woman a prettier woman or they leave them for their their actual type and now the woman is just sitting there lost confused bitter mad and angry because she don't build built her man up she don't put all her all her effort and all her time into dealing with this man for or for him to leave her you know and leave her with nothing and you know go deal with another woman and put that woman on a pedestal so you know so if, if women you're dealing with any type of man make sure he has those three things and make sure that he's able to prove those things to you otherwise just don't date them um and you know that's another thing that i just wanted to touch on but i'm not going to make this a really long video um um i hope you guys are having a good day a good morning um thank you guys for watching